Hey everyone, Rob here, and we got some more updates on the eruption. Now what we're looking at here happened last night, and there's a couple different clips of this massive amount of lava that is just flowing in all directions. Now the reason for this video is there was actually a lull in the eruption, and many people were thinking that the volcano had stopped. And there's a lot of speculation as to what actually happened. But some people are thinking that maybe perhaps some of the interior collapsed, slowed it down, and it stopped for a few hours. It was very, very foggy on the webcams. So, and as you probably all know, if you're watching the live feeds, so it's very, very difficult to see exactly what's been going on. But as you can see in these clips from Vsir, and this is from their webcam, there is no chance of it slowing down. Everyone all the scientists here in Iceland and all the measurements that have been taking, they state that there's still no indication that this eruption is going to stop or is slowing down. So if you are planning on coming to Iceland to see the eruption and see the volcano and the lava, there's still a good chance that it's going to happen. And we're still looking at this is heading towards the road. There have been some talks from couple of different firms here in Iceland about building some sort of a lava bridge to protect the road. I don't think that uh, that's going to actually pan out. doesn't sound like any of the councils or the city are looking at that as a viable option. But uh, there is more and more talk about what's going to happen when it hits the road. Now, there have been some cell phone issues and some network issues in the area around the eruption. And when they're saying that the lava and the heat has actually disrupted all of the cables below it. This is really important because they have been digging and burying cables deeper along the road that this lava is heading to. And they put it a little bit further into the ground hoping that it, as the lava went over it wouldn't disrupt all of the infrastructure that's there. Taking a look at the new cell phone information and the network issues that they're having... Now there's discussion if this is actually going to work or if it will be damaged in the long run. So all of this, really, really excited that <laughs> I'm excited that it hasn't stopped. Um, my mom's actually going to be coming to Iceland in the next few weeks. Thankfully, fully vaccinated so she can come into the country with, you know, with ease. And uh, she's excited to see the eruption and I'm excited to take her to visit. So I hope it doesn't stop before then. And if you're hoping to come to Iceland, I hope again, that you're able to make it and see some of these spectacular eruptions and this, this lava, I wouldn't say up close, but in person at the very least. So one last thing I want to do before we wrap up this video is I want to take a look at something that I used to do a lot more, and that is these seismic activity charts that, the, uh, that are available on uh, the Weather Meteorological society website here in Iceland. So you can see right over here in this sort of like down part where this blue dips down and that's around where we all thought that the eruption was stopping. And of course, as you saw in the video and if you're following a lot of the news, there's there's no stopping. So again, not 100% sure what's going on. They're still looking into it to find out what's going on, but even the scientists here think that this is not unordinary. This is just a normal piece, piece of activity that's going on in this type of an eruption. Now, another thing to remember is, although we do get some amazing footage from the webcams, again from Vizier, like this, a lot of the lava that is actually flowing out isn't visible on the surface. It's actually below. And they're comparing what's happening to when you're baking a loaf of bread. And if you're like many people, you've gotten to sourdough and bread baking during the pandemic. But the idea is that the lava is underneath and lifting all of this hardened surface up, much like as a bread rises or bakes in the oven. So very important to, to also remember that. I mean, this is amazing, the amount of lava that's just flowing in every direction over the past 24 hours. Really, really great stuff. And uh, yeah, I mean, I hope it continues like this for a little bit. I mean, the road, it is what it is. But uh, yeah, I mean, Iceland could, could afford to be a bit bigger. So as this lava goes into the ocean, maybe uh, we get a little bit of a bigger island country. <laughs> 
So that's it for me. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you enjoyed these images again from the VSER webcam. It's really great, great footage that they've captured through that. And uh, until next time, thank you so much for watching.